Yo, what do YouTube? B Kelly back again with another banger. Today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about what's happening to the Houston Astros. I know I haven't made a baseball video in a very long time, but I have to talk about this. Just a quick disclaimer to all the Houston Astro fans. I'm not trying to go after your team, trying to expose y'all's team. I know the MLB season is still very young. As of this recording, the Houston Astros have only played 15 games and they're 6-9, and nine, which is pretty disappointing to say the least. I mean, this is a team that's favored to go win their division and possibly go to the World Series this year. Now, this past offseason for the Houston Astros was very, very, very tough. Like, it was brutal almost. They lost their starting ace pitcher in Garrett Cole. And in case you don't know anything about baseball, Garrett Cole is basically one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. And some even say the best pitcher in baseball right now. And there's a lot of things to back that up as well. And they lost their general manager and their manager as a consequence of, you know, stealing signs. Yeah, they got busted for stealing signs. And that wasn't even just it. Of course, they lost their manager and general manager. But they also have lost their top two picks in the MLB drafts for 2020 and 2020. 21. Now, I'm going to tell you some of the expectations for a team like the Houston Astros who are loaded in the field, loaded at the plate, and have some really good pitching still. The expectations going into the season is to win the AL West and to go to the World Series and hopefully win the World Series. Now, let's talk about current day baseball, 2020. The Houston Astros, as of the recording of this video, are 6-9 and nine and sit at third place in the AL West. They are behind the Oakland Athletics and the Texas Rangers. And they're really not that much ahead of the Seattle Mariners either, if you really look at it. The Astros currently sit at 6-9. and nine. Right now, the entire AL Central is playing better than the Houston Astros. And most of the AL East is performing better than the Houston Astros. Most of the NL West is doing better than the Astros. Most of the NL Central is doing better. And finally, most of the NL East is performing better than the Houston Astros currently. To basically sum up what I just said, the Houston Astros are tied in win percentage with the Red Sox and the Phillies. And quick disclaimer, I did not put the Cardinals on here because they've played five games. And they are just ahead of the Blue Jays, the Diamondbacks, Nationals, Mariners, Angels, and the Pirates. If you look at that list, you notice there's not many teams. Yeah, the Astros are performing like a bottom tier team right now. Let me provide y'all with some quick statistics might be explaining some of the losing trends they're having. The Astros are currently, as of the recording of this video, on a five game losing streak and they are averaging about five runs given up per game, but they are scoring about 5.1 runs per game as well. The MLB's batting average is usually around the 250 mark. Some years is a little below, some years is a little above, but it's usually pretty consistent at 250. But this year it is actually really lowered because it is early, obviously. Most teams have only played around 15 games, unless you're the Marlins and Cardinals because of the outbreaks. But the league average this year, as I am recording this video, is 230. But still, the Astros only have four players batting above the league average, and that's Carlos Correa batting a 345, Michael Brantley batting a 313, Yuli Gurriel batting a 271 and Josh Reddick batting a 259. Currently, the Houston Astros are 15th in batting in the MLB with a 234 average as a whole for the team. Now let's talk about pitching. The Houston Astros are 15th in the MLB for pitching with an ERA of 4.20. Now let's take a dive into their starting pitcher rotation. Now, I'm going to talk about the guys who are actually healthy, so Justin Verlander is automatically out of it. Even though he did pitch one game and is 1-0 as a pitcher, he got hurt right after that game, and he just, he's probably done for the season, even though he's on the 10-day IL. He's more than likely done. 
But I would say out of the five starting pitchers right now that they have, I would say two of them have a pretty good ERA, but one has an average ERA, kind of, maybe a little high, and then two are just awful. Let's talk about the good first. Framber Valdez has a 2.04 ERA, but he is 0-2 as a starter. And then Zach Grinke doesn't have a win or a loss, and he has a 3.00 ERA. Christian Javier, he's 1-1 one one as a starter, and he has a 4.02 ERA. But now let's get into the ugly. Lance McCullers, 9.22 ERA, but he is 1-1. One one. Josh James, 10.29 ERA, doesn't have a win or a loss. Now I'm going to talk about the Astros' bullpen. Now they do have some main pieces that have been pretty good. Like Andre Scrub boasting a 0 ERA, Blake Taylor boasting a 0 ERA, Enoli Paredes only having a 2.70 ERA, Brandon Bailey only having a 3.38 ERA, Brandon Belak having an impressive 0.87 ERA, but they do have some key injuries like Roberto Azuna pretty much done officially for the season. And Chris Devinitsky, even though he had a really bad two innings, having a 13.50 ERA, it still destroys the depth, and he is hurt. And Joe Biagini is hurt as well, even though they were both not very good. It's the depth. Depth is big, and depth is key, especially in the bullpen. I'll say this about the current Houston Astros bullpen. It seems like for every good guy they have, they also have some guys who are just not performing the best. Like Cy Sneed, who has a 750 ERA. Nivaldo Rodriguez, who has a 771 ERA. Carlos Sanabria, 9.00 ERA. And Ryan Presley, boasting a very ugly 1620 ERA. Now, I feel like I should say this. For their 9 losses on the season as of the recording of this video, 5 of the losses have been allocated to relief pitching. What I'm saying is that the bullpen is basically kind of costing the games for the most part in most of their losses they've had so far. And now I'm going to go in more depth on some of the star power they have and how they were performing. And I'm going to pinpoint that into the big four they have with Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, Carlos Correa, and George Springer. To start off the big four that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to start off with the most decorated of them all, Jose Altuve. Now Jose Altuve has been an inspiration for a lot of short people out there. And this guy is a complete dog, a great fielder, has been an amazing hitter lately. But this season, I know it's early guys, I know it's early, but he's just been very, very bad. He's only batting a 182 with three home runs and seven RBIs. He does have two stolen bases, but his war is a negative 0.1 and his on-base percentage is very measly at 0 0.260. The next guy I'm going to talk about is George Springer. Now, George Springer is a home run machine. And this guy has been hitting home runs pretty much a lot almost every year of his career. And this guy just hits dingers for a living pretty much. He is like Jose. He's off to a really slow start to start off their very young season. Like Jose, he's batting a 182. He does have three home runs and 12 RBIs, which I think is pretty impressive with how young the season is. His war is only a .1, which it could be better, could be worse. His on-base percentage isn't bad, but it isn't the best. It is a .321, could be better, but could be worse. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Alex Bregman. Now, Alex Bregman really isn't doing horrible to start off the season, but he's struggling with how he usually does with the Astros, but he's not doing the worst. He is fifth in batting average for the Astros so far this season. His batting average for the season is a .219, and he has three home runs and 11 RBIs. And his war is a straight zero, and his on-base percentage is a .306. 
this isn't the worst start for anybody, especially out of, like, people like George and Jose, but I definitely expect Alex to get better pretty soon, because, I mean, he's not really doing horrible. He could definitely be doing better at the plate, but he's really not doing that bad. And now to finish off the big four, I'm gonna talk about Carlos Correa, who's been absolutely beasting and feasting this season. So far this season, he's batting a 345, and he has two home runs and six RBIs. And his on-base percentage is insane. He has a .429 on-base percentage, and his war is a .8. Carlos Correa out of the big four is definitely doing the best right now. Now, if you're a Houston Astros fan, don't worry about the season. You guys are only a quarter of the way through the season. Yes, the season's only 60 games long and you've already gone by a quarter of it because 15 is a quarter of 60. All I can say is that do not lose hope right now. It, the season is still very young and the Astros have the star-studded cast. Yes, they are struggling now, but they probably won't struggle later on. The Astros aren't the only team with star power that is lagging behind the rest of the league. A lot of other teams have stars on their teams that are struggling even worse than the stars on the Astros are performing right now. All I can say is that do not get lost by the record of being six and nine because the season's not over i expect the astros to make a full turnaround they have all stars on their rosters and they have guys who can step up to the plate and be clutch when it matters most i definitely expect the astros to make it to the postseason and if they don't it'd be very disappointing well, that's all I have today, guys. If you guys like the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly out.